Jared here in St. Louis, Missouri, and I am in town for the Trans World Haunted Attraction Show, or the, actually it's called Halloween and Attraction Show, but it's essentially just a haunted house trade show. But anyway, I thought while I was in town, I would show off some of the restaurants and food that I'm going to be eating. Just in case you ever want to come to St. Louis and you're going to be staying near the American Center for a convention or a, you know, cardinal game or something. I'll show you some of the restaurants. We are heading to, what is the name of this place? Chris on the Docket? Something like that. Something like that Something for some like breakfast. It was Chris on the Docket, I had it right. This is at the corner of Chestnut and Tucker Boulevard. Now, admittedly, unlike some of the other restaurants I'm gonna be showing, this is the first time I've ever eaten Chris at the Docket. I'm gonna go in here and get some breakfast. We got about a 15 to 30 minute wait before we're gonna be able to go in and get a table. And we're in. It only took an hour. Took an hour. Yep, waiting on our food now. Charles is waiting on a Bloody Mary, but he got himself a... Nitro coffee. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting getting it. I just got regular coffee and I put a little bit of half and half cream in it because it was a little bit, um, I don't know, interesting tasting without it. I <laughs> I got French toast, sausage, and egg. I don't get French toast very often, and I really wanted some today. Would you get a tower burrito? Yeah, it has like a chorizo, jalapenos, like a ranchito sauce, I think. It's okay. Good stuff we'll revisit that once it's open. Thank you. What'd you get? Is that a skillet? Thank you. I got the, uh, the tower, like he did, only I got it as a skillet. Oh, you got it. Oh, okay, so we don't have to show the inside of his burrito then. That's basically what it looks like. And you guys also got pancakes with it, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's what I should have got. But I really wanted French toast. I changed my mind we are going to show it because it looks a lot more interesting inside the burrito than it did in Charles' bowl. Breakfast is in the books. I mean, my French toast was French toast. It was good, but it was just French toast. I didn't get cool looking stuff like these two guys did. How was your tower, bowl, tower, burrito? My burrito was super good. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Pancakes were good too. Yeah, Charles said they were the best pancakes he's ever had in his life. <laughs> I did. I, I don't eat pancakes very often. It's been years and they were epic. How was your Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary was really good. Was it strong? I mean, I can't... Alcohol strong? No, I oh. just tasted like tomato juice, but it was good. Yeah, there you go. Chris at the docket. Good food. Uh, you can see a little bit of the arch. Gateway to the West. That arch is absolutely stunning when you get up close to it and look at it. It's very beautiful. I actually got a couple cool things to look at in the city. And other than that, it's always, to me, it seemed like kind of a relaxed city atmosphere, which is nice. I want to show a couple different options that you can get for breakfast around here. The first one's going to be a little bit lighter. It's going to be Park Avenue Coffee. It's a great little coffee shop. It's got some like little bakery type things. This is located on 10th between Washington and Locust. I really like this place because you can get gooey butter cake. I'm not gonna really be able to show the inside of that today because there was they were pretty much kind of like cleaning up and I didn't want to film that. But there's the gooey butter cake. And then I got a triple chunk gooey butter cake. Not bad. And then just A regular Park Avenue coffee. No seating currently, huh? But you yeah, can get your coffee to go. <laughs> yep. What did you think of your gooey butter cake? You got the regular. Yeah, it's the first time I had one. Really? really that's the first time you've ever had it? Yeah. You liked it a lot? Yeah. yeah. One. The triple chocolate gooey butter cake was absolutely delicious. I think I might like it even better than regular gooey butter cake. It's pretty good. They were cold. I don't know if they got them on the fridge or I imagine. Uh, actually, that's a good question point. I don't know if it's supposed to be. I've only ever had it cold. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to get it again later today. What a really cool lobby here. Oh, I can't wait to get one of these calzones. I am really, really excited. I've been wanting to eat here for years. 
got all these bottles. No indoor seating currently. But it does look like they have some cool seating when it is open. They do have some cool outdoor eating, so it's not going to be too bad that we have to eat out here instead of inside. I mean, normally I love eating outdoors. Absolutely 100% prefer it to indoor. It's just uh, a little bit windy and chilly today. But I bet at night with these lights, this just looks fabulous. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit because of the wind. But there we go. Meet me in St. Louis. Calzone I got. It's all meat, pepperoni, sausage, and I think ham in there. Oh man, look at all that cheese. Can't wait. What else we got going on here? We got the Duke, which is barbecue chicken and corn chili. Uh, it's, yeah, barbecue chicken, uh, like smoked cheddar, I think, mozzarella, corn salsa. Corn salsa, sorry, corn chili. And then it's got like a rancid on the side. It looks really good. And then you got the magic carpet ride. Yeah, with some portobellos, garlic, feta. Really good. The sauce is really rich. It's really yeah. good. Who would have thought that St. Louis would be the windy city with all this wind, man? <laughs> this is brutal. Excellent calzones from sauce on the side. I would definitely eat there again. And the great thing about all these restaurants that I'm showing you is they're all within just a few blocks of the America Center, the Convention Center on Washington. So if you're coming into town for something like that, you've got plenty of food options within walkable distance. We're about to go and grab some dinner at Rosalita's Cantina, Tex-Mex food. I love this place. It's very, very good. <laughs> One of my favorite things about eating at restaurants like this are the chips and salsa you get in Jimmy's big huge hand <laughs> in front of the camera. Pretty good, what do you think Charles? I like it. These are like homemade chips. Yes they are. I really like this fancy menu as well. I think I'm gonna go with, it's hard to see there, but some carne asada tacos. Free hard corn tacos. I think I'll add the rice and beans as well. So it's hard to see, but right there behind the bar, they do have a second story where you can sit. They're not currently seating people up there, but it is available. Uh, I have sat up there before. It's really nice. But today, we're down here, right in front of the bar. Here we go. Hard shell, carne asada, ugh, I said it wrong, but whatever, tacos. I would not have added the rice and beans had I realized this plate of tacos was going to be so big. My brother got, what did you get? Carne asada enchiladas? Uh, I got barbacoa beef barbacoa. with uh, chipotle sauce enchiladas. Oh, yours came with rice and beans anyway. Yeah. That looks really good. It's going to be great. Yeah, Charles is, nah, they didn't give him anything. Womp, womp, womp. Dang, Charles, man, it was worth the wait. Look at that. Yes, it was. That thing, is, that is sizzling. Is it carne asada too? Yeah. As well, I should yeah. say. Some peppers and onion. And you got the fajita fixings. I believe they're bringing you out some shells, right? I'm waiting on the tortillas. I'm very excited about it. Oh, man, you're going to enjoy that. I can smell it from here. That smells fantastic. Oh, Take one more look at that pile of beef, onion, and pepper. Wow. Well, that was really good. I do believe everybody enjoyed their food. Do you guys like your stuff? Oh, yeah. It was great. Yeah, Outstanding. Those, I didn't eat those fajitas, but I could smell them. They were they smelled so good, it was like I was eating them. And they were the most expensive thing. They were only $16. So, but I mean, that's a good price. Yeah, it is good bad price. for all that food you got. Right up my alley. Yeah, yeah I believe, uh, I believe mine that. was 14 and I think yours was 14 right? Or was yours mine 12? Mine was 14 Yeah. Definitely good. Definitely eat it. Rosalita's if you get the chance. About to head out and get another bite to eat here, but first I wanted to show the America Center because the place we're going to is called the Over and Under Bar. Now, it is a bar, but they do serve sandwiches, so not everybody's going to be interested in this kind of meal, but it's a real quick walk. This right here to my left is the Marriott Grand on Washington. Over the years of going to St. Louis, the thing I've noticed is the city is not very crowded. I mean, it always seems like this kind of at night. Not a whole lot of people walking around uh, Monday through Thursday. It's hard to get food past 7, 8 o'clock at night. Not a lot of traffic. Feels like a relaxed city. At least right here. 
We're gonna try to eat indoors, I do believe. Which, as you can see out here, there is a nice little outdoor eating area. And <laughs> it's hard to see, but there's some music being played just beyond that bush. And the city has scooters. And they are annoying. Dang, look at that. People just scooting around people. Cutting across. That's what it's like all day long that I have been here. Not that many people walking, but a lot of people on them scooters. Most people do not care where you are walking. Time to head in. Pretty typical bar, but nice. Really loud here tonight, as you can hear. But they do have a pretty good menu. Check this out. You even get two good TVs. Can't hear it. But, I mean, who's really watching it? Chicken Philly. Looks like you got some pretty nice bacon there on that. Oh yeah, I added it. How much was yours? Twelve fifty-two as well. Yeah, but two dollars for the bacon. Two dollars for the bacon. All right. But not bad price. Well, that was pretty good food. A good price, cheap. It's bar food, but actually, actually, it's a little bit better than bar food. Yeah, yeah. Thing. that was better. Oh it wasn't yeah, like yeah. Typical. Uh, greasy good. bar food. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I yeah. liked it a lot. The bacon was really good. I'm glad I added it. Yeah, that would be a good. What did I get? French dip sandwich anywhere. What do you think here? You got the same thing. Yeah, this is the first time I've had a French dip actually. It's really good. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for me in this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed all of those meals that I ate. I think we did like four or five of them, something like that. Uh, all of them were really good. One of them was a place that I'd never eaten before. Chris on the docket, I believe, and it ended up being a really good find. I think I will make sure in the future when I come here, hit that up for breakfast every day. Uh, there was a couple restaurants I didn't get to. One, which is one of my very favorites here in St. Louis, Pie, has not opened back up yet from the pandemic, but it will be shortly, and that's right down the road from the uh, Grand in America Center as well. I highly recommend that one. I'm sorry I couldn't show it, but you know what, maybe in a month or two, you'll be able to check it out. But anyway, thanks for watching.